Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Megan or Meg, uh, Megpie, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm a trainer in Vancouver, and I'm really excited to lead you through a super quick, maybe 20 to 30 minute strength uh, movement session. We have three uh, main movement patterns coming up at you in maybe 10 minutes. And before that, we're going to take a really good mobility and activation. Um, warm up, if you will. Um, this is my third year in a row, raising funds for the BC Cancer Foundation. Um, it's a really, really close cause to my heart. Um, sadly, this disease runs through my family and um, number one reason why I try to be involved uh, as much as I can is because my grandma passed away in 2010 after fighting the battle of cancer. And she was just the best, 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 best lady in the world. So I am very happy and privileged that I did get to spend 17 years of my life with her, but obviously miss her dearly. Um, so this is for all of our family members, our friends, uh, everybody uh, affected by this horrible, horrible thing. Um, but the really cool thing about exercise is we can help ourselves feel better, keep healthy, um, and just enjoy enjoy our days. So team, when you're ready, we're gonna start in a downward dog. Um, hands are wider than your shoulders. We're gonna tuck your toes, press your hands down, pike your hips up to the sky. Think about how long you can get from your fingertips and through the tailbone area. If you take a really big knee bend, if you have tight hamstrings, I really like to pull my hips left to right oh so good feels so juicy then we're going to pull our body weight over our hands shoulders are up over our hands and then just gently drop those hips down open through the collarbones i like to look over my right shoulder look over my left shoulder so good tuck your chin and pike those hips up we are going to do that two more full times so again take your time Pull it left to right, whatever you need for your body. And then all the way through. Gentle extension, look over one shoulder, if that feels good. You got it, you got it. One more time. So my favorite thing to do when I am feeling good, feeling tired, feeling anxious, feeling anything in the world, is to move my body and I will always feel better. From there, body weight goes over your hands again, right foot outside of right hand, back left leg is really, really long. And we're gonna press down to the left hand, reach up to the right. <sighs> Big breath, oh, so good. Rotating to that mid back. Switch to the left, please, back leg, right leg, really long. Now we're gonna reach that left hand up to the sky. Big breath. Good. This time, right side, we're going to go pigeon. So right knee behind right wrist. Yeah, shin is across your mat. Nice big exhale. So we're not actually hanging out here. We're just going to exhale those guys. Press up, switch legs. Good, and we're going to start over. So right foot outside of right hand. Give that right shoulder a little break. We're going to rotate, open up. Big breath. So good. Hopefully you have some weights at home. I can do everything body weight. So we will always have modifications for you. We're going into those pigeon nose dives. <laughs> pigeon nose dives, each side. So like I was saying, if you don't have weight at home, that's totally okay. Don't worry. We can do anything and everything from home body weight. That is the great, wonderful, wonderful thing about it. So if you uh, haven't guessed, we are alternating World's Greatest Stretch and that pigeon nose dive. So this is our third round. We are gonna do five. Yes, it's repetitive, but yes, we need space through your joints. If you don't and you go for that hard hidden workout, you're just gonna feel like crap after. So let's make sure you feel good, team. Make sure you feel good. 
Okay, number four. Big nose dive. Maybe you'll even notice these pigeons feel way easier. I have definitely noticed that. Fourth round. I'm feeling better, feeling better. Okay, last time, world's greatest stretch each side. Remember that big, beautiful breath. Last time, pigeon. My right hip is like, thanks, Megan. I needed that fifth one. <laughs> we needed to do five rounds. Okay, last big exhale, left side. So good. Okay, we're gonna give those arms and shoulders a little rest. Come onto your back, please, team. From there, we are gonna think about how we can press down through tailbone, ribs, spine, head. How heavy can they get into the ground? Nice, long, neutral spine. Then we're gonna lift your knees up over your hips, one at a time. We're gonna press our palms into our thighs. So nice, okay. Left hand and left foot are gonna reach away from each other. Your spine doesn't change shape. Exhale, pull back. Right side reaches away from each other. Spine doesn't change shape. We have 10 total. There's three. Six. If you need a modification, you keep your knee bent, just drop your heel down. Eight. Nine, don't change the uh, shape of your spine though. 10, good, keep your knees up over your hips. Hands are gonna go into a nice P position. Palms pressed down, you're dropping your knees over to one hand at an angle with control. Exhale, zip it back over your torso. Other hand, drop with control, zip it back over your torso. So good, we're only going for six here. Just six, three per side, there's four. Five, six, good job. Plant those feet, press down through both feet nice and evenly, squeezing those glutes up for six glute bridges, not arching through the low back. So keep that low back really neutral, but you're just making sure those butt cheeks squeeze together. Six, Woo. and then we're gonna set it up again. So tailbone. Rib, spine, head, push down nice and evenly. Bring those knees up over your hips. Pressing your palms into thighs, thighs into palms. And remember, you always have that modification to keep your knee bent. 10 total. Breathing, obviously, as you can hear me probably. Six. Eight, 10, Whew. Uh, arms out into that T, knees drop to one hand at an angle, control, squeeze back up, other hand, control, squeeze back up, six total, three per side, there's four, five, Six, plant your feet down, push through your ankles and your heels nice and evenly, even pressure, squeeze those butt cheeks up, pull back down. So I like to think about butt cheek sandwich, right? We're not just pressing those glutes up to the sky, we're actually pressing them together like a sandwich. Try it out. Six total. Yeah, now let's change those exercises. Come on to hands and knees. Okay, we're gonna get those shoulders again. We are gonna do the exact same pattern as your knee drops that we just did, but now from your hands and knees, okay? So my hands are gonna be a little bit uh, closer together, okay? My knees are gonna be a little bit closer together than a regular kind of like quadruped cat-cow position. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, squeeze your knees over to the left. Shoulders and chest stay facing the ground. Squeeze your knees over to the right. Oh yeah, six total. Shoulders and chest don't move. Four, six. Whoo, good job. Half kneeling position. My left knee is down. My right leg is forward. Staying super stacked like a column. Your left shoulder 
left hip, left knee, all on top of each other. We're gonna take those hands in front of you, reach your right hand back to the wall behind you, eyes are following. Left hand back to the wall behind you, eyes are following. If you're like, hey Meg, this is really easy, okay? Put your right foot more in line with your back knee. Now you're on a tight rope. My hips aren't stable, because I can't do that. Now you're on a tight rope. Maybe your joints start wiggling. My right ankle is wiggling. We have six. Woo! Okay, that's gonna challenge you. <laughs> so how about you do that? <laughs> good, good, good. Switch your knees, right knee down, left foot forward. Stack, right shoulder, right hip over your right knee. Hands forward, left hand reaches back, eyes follow. Right hand reaches back, eyes follow. Again, tight rope if it's way too easy. I obviously need some hip stabilization if I'm wobbling around on the tightrope. Number six. Okay, you guessed it. One more time each. So, so a little bit more narrow with the hands and the knees than a normal quadruped position, okay? Tuck those toes, make sure your spine's really long. We lift up, we squeeze to the left, we squeeze to the right, six total. Five, six, awesome. Left knee stays down, tight rope if you may. And then we have six total reaches here. Five, six. Oh yeah, switch those knees. Okay, after the set team, we're getting into lifting those weights. So make sure you have something. If you don't have any dumbbells or kettlebells at home, grab a heavy book, like a heavy book. You know what I mean? Like textbook that we used to read. Something, get some weight under it. Okay, that is done. You are open, your joints have found space, you have activated, your joints have found stability. Now we're gonna start moving some kettlebells around. So first exercise is a squat. Our hips and our core are ready for it. Now we just have to mentally get ready for it, right? You know what I mean? Okay, uh, bell, whatever weight you have. Do you have a kettlebell? Okay, we're gonna zip it up to your chest. If you have a dumbbell, hold it at your chest. If you have that heavy book, hold it at your chest. Notice how my toes are out. So my heels are under my hips, my toes are out because the front of my hips are really tight. If you're fine, you can keep your feet pacing forward. But usually it feels pretty nice with your toes out. We are sitting that bum down, chest stays up. So sit down like you're in a phone booth. Okay, there's four, we're going for 10. Six, big exhale up. Seven, knee stays over those toes. 10. If this is the only weight that you have, put it on the ground in between your feet. If you have a heavier weight, put that weight in between your feet, okay? Mimicking the glute bridge, we're going into deadlift. So we're gonna chop the hips, send the butt backwards. Nice tight armpit, tight belly button, press the ground away to stand up. 10 deadlifts. We're tapping the ground in between every single rep and we're thinking about getting chopped across the hips and our butt just goes flying backwards. That is where you're at. Seven. Nine. 10. Okay, team, safely stick that out of the way. We're coming into a high plank. Before you get there, make sure you think about corkscrewing down to the hands. So my fingertips are still facing forward but I have lots of tension through my hands. I like to bring my feet completely together, my thighs completely together, and then inhale down in that push up, exhale back up. I'm gonna do five from my toes, five from my knees. If you can do all 10 from your one of them, <laughs> you have 10 push ups. Eyes are forward, your eyes are not back or down. Team, the way it's gonna work, we have four more rounds of that. 10 squats, 10 deadlifts, 10 push-ups, four more rounds. 
and then we're going to be done. So get it going. We're going to challenge that strength. I'm going to turn up the music so you're not listening to me breathe. And we're going to have a really good time. Okay? <laughs> 10 squats, 10 deadlifts, 10 push ups. Go, go, go. Good job, everybody. Two more rounds. Two more rounds. I'm really worried this music is going to be copyrighted. So two more rounds. I'm putting myself on mute. Two more rounds, team. I realized I didn't even share the music, so it doesn't matter. Two more rounds.
Okay, team, five rounds. Little to no rest. You're gonna get your heart rate up. I am warm, my heart rate is up. If you have the time, do more. Do 10 rounds, do seven rounds. Just make sure you feel good. What I'm gonna do with you now is take you through a little cool down, okay? Um, yeah, if you're, if you're wanting to do more rounds, just fly at it, okay? You have three of the main movement patterns there. You have a squat, a hinge, and a push. You just fly at it if you're feeling good. My left knee is down, team. My left hand is gonna reach up and over my shoulders. And then if you need it, you can slightly shift your body weight forward, but don't arch through your low back. So keep your tailbone tucked. We are gonna keep your head above your heart while we uh, cool down and tell our body it is uh, done, done time, done time? I don't know, you know. Okay, so that was super quick. Such an easy way to get a strength workout in there. Um, and you just keep moving through those really nice movement patterns that you've created some good space and activation for. And you will feel good. Your body will love you for it. Your mind will love you for it. Okay, switch your sides if you didn't. Uh, and that is most important. I am way more worried about our mental health and our minds. Um, as long as that's good, we're still getting the benefits for our body. Um, but it's just such a such a nice way, however you are feeling in the day, to get some movement in. You will uh, you will appreciate yourself for doing it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I know my body needs it, is hang out in a pigeon here for a second. If you like the world's greatest stretch, hang out in that one for a second here. Okay, so this one, because we are cooling down now, we can keep it more static, a little less dynamic, yeah? Do your choice. This one is very much hip and glute. If you want the world's greatest, you're gonna get the front of your legs a little bit more, front of your hips. Let's do one more big breath. Oh yeah, okay, switch it back to the other side. Whatever you wanted to do, pigeon or world's greatest, you can also follow along with me right now. And then when I see, see you later, say see you later. Uh, do the world's greatest. You have time, I'm sure you do. You can stick in a couple extra seconds to stretch out whatever you need. Um, thank you so much for joining. Thank you if you have donated um, and all my love goes out to all of the friends and the family affected by this disease. Hopefully we can uh, find a cure for, for some things. Um, thank you so much team. My name is Megan. Meg, whatever, whatever you want to call me. Enjoy your day. Thanks so much. See you later.